Evans and Berg are jig fishing down the weed line edge of about a 14 foot hole situated in the middle of a large shallow water shoreline connected flat. The crappies are stacked up, but scattered along it, so all the boys have to do is keep moving to stay on them or to find new schools. We are tucked into the one spot we could be fishing right now. <laughs> Thankfully, it's got fish on it. There's one, Jeff. Nice. Boy, he hit it hard, too. <laughs> he thinks he's a bass. We're in a little bigger run of fish now. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <laughs> I changed colors. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's let him go. Sly guy changed colors. Hey, 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 got one. hey, I think I got to get out of your way here. What do you got there? Get one. Ha-ha, we see what that is. Hey, guess what I got? We got ourselves a double. Double. <laughs> double. I think you put us on them, Jeff. Nice. Swimming crappie jigs, you got to love that. Big fish, too. Yes, they are. Let's see who's is bigger, huh? She looks like she's still got eggs in her. Might have, because I suspect a lot of yeah. our fish might not have spawned this year. Cookie cutter fish? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, all right, man. I like that. There is nothing better than to cast right in Jeff's spot and catch another one. I got one. There you go. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. How am I ever going to get in front of you if I can't? Uh, You're not going to get away with that. If I can't young catch man. one on my own You're here. You're not going to get away with that. <laughs> What's great about this technique when it comes to northern lakes in Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, Michigan, a crappie is a crappie. They're gonna be in the same type of areas. And basically all we're doing is we're fishing a bowl here that's surrounded by shallow water and there's great weed growth in here. And it's probably the single best spot on the lake for the summertime crappies. So how, how many lakes do you cover, Jeff? Well, between uh, the St. Louis River Harbor up in Duluth and Superior, then the Hayward Lakes area, Schwamigan Bay um, on Lake Superior, probably 20 to 25 different bodies of water that I'm on regularly. Uh, it just depends on the, you know, the time of year, the bite. Uh, we kind of, we don't specialize in anything. So it's smallmouth bass, it's walleyes, it's muskies, it's crappies, uh, kind of whatever people are into what they want to fish for. We just have a ton, we're blessed. We have a ton of great opportunities. Uh, a lot of different bodies of water to fish. I like to see us catching different year classes of fish Isn't that too. Great? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we've caught three, haven't we? Exactly. Yep. Three different year classes. It's a healthy, healthy lake. But I tell you what, it'd be very easy to kill this lake out if you're not careful. Well, I just, you can't be greedy. Yeah. You can't be greedy. Just nice and long casts and swim that jig. All you want to do is picture it. Picture the jig falling through the weeds and then you jig it up and let it fall through the weeds. Now I'm adding a little more jarring action to it so it's kind of doing the swimming action kind of like that. And you're just trying to get that reaction strike. I'm gonna guess, I'm going to guess most of the fish in this little hole here are right where we're fishing, wouldn't you say? Just the way it is. We're catching, we caught one here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one there. And all of a sudden we found this spot and it's intense. It's there. Oh, there was one. They're all in a little area that's probably what? 10 yards by 10 yards? Yeah, and we pointed out there's some weed tops sticking out up there. Yeah. You probably can't pick it up on camera, but I'm sure all these fish are just congregated around yeah. that big bunch of cabbage. Oh, I'm hooked up. So am I. <laughs> I'm hooked up. Oh, this is a nice one. Mr. Jeff, In. another double. How many is that? In. How many doubles is that? It's quite a few. That's incredible. Them are beautiful, beautiful crappies. I mean, that's, yep. that's 11 inches. Yours is probably a little, well, yours is bigger. Here's that's how I like foot. it, a yeah. little bit bigger, just a little <laughs> bit. But I think we could sit here all day and catch crappies on and off like we have. I mean, we've yep. kind of had to work for them, you know. We'll go, we'll catch five, six, and then have to wait 20 minutes, catch five, six more. You know, typical cold front stuff. Uh-oh, I see that. Got him. Got him. He was closer boat. Yep. Got Look at him. that. Woo. 
<laughs> and a double. Yes, sir. I cannot let Look you pull ahead by two. Look at that one, Nate. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ah, those are two kings right there. I don't know how many lakes you have that hold crappies like this. I mean, those are a couple of footers. Yeah. Those are dandies no matter where you fish. And they're thick. But I tell you what, I want to come back next week and do this again when their, their mouths recuperate. <laughs> Man alive. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely, Nate. Fun morning. Absolutely fun. Well, let's move on and see if there's any smallmouth that you're talking about that frequent this lake. 